The idea was to climb all the 4,000 meter peaks in the Alps. To make the whole project a little bit more interesting, I decided it's all a human power. You have to walk or cycle. If you do all the 4,000 meter peaks during three, four years, it's not the same experience. Both of us, we were tired, but the next day we decided we, we also climbed the Matterhorn. It was hard to get up again at four in the morning and especially just start to run down. It hurts when you have tired legs. We climbed the Hundley Ridge and it was kind of cool, like, because Andy knew it by heart and I just followed his shoes. You don't see so much, but I mean, in these days you have such good headlamps. It's kind of like a no big deal anymore. And then the sunrise starts. You have already almost done your day. It's kind of like this nice, beautiful moment. It's a cool feeling. I had some days, you're back six o'clock in the evening and, and you leave again at one o'clock in the morning. So there's not much time to recover. And it's not ideal, you know, like if you get a little tendonitis or whatever, if you do one climb, okay, you can go through it and it's a little bit pain, but on such a long-term project, it just doesn't work on the end. When me and Daniel climbed at Grand Combat, it was like the last peak from Switzerland. And that was kind of a, of a special moment. Same day after Grand Comba, I cycled to Chamonix, to the Mont Blanc Massif, where actually the hardest peaks of the whole project were waiting for me. I climbed the Frendo Spur to the Egmidi Midi. A lot of people do that, it's a real climb. But for me, it was actually just the access to the hut. And I crossed the glacier to the Torino hut with Rabbi Wesch, a friend of mine. Four of us, me, Daniel, Uli Bühler, and Robert Bösch, who climbed La Rete Diable. I told him, I'm 10 years older than you. I'm not in, in the same condition that, that you are. And that we go slowly, and we will have fun was six 4,000 meter peaks in a day, and it's a really beautiful parade to climb. The Arete de Diablo was amazing and was great climbing with old friends. I added on this day more Modi as well. A little bit of more Modi. I got 12. It's great. After we went back to the Torino hut, and I was supposed to meet Martin Sören. Martin He wrote us an email. He explained that he had climbed all the 4,000 meter peaks except the Grand Choras Traverse, and that he would be the first Dutch to climb all the 4,000 meter peaks in the Alps. Immediately, I thought, ah, that's kind of a cool idea. I still had to climb Dent du Géant. Martin explained to me, like, when he climbed Rochefort, that's no problem. He knows the way, and he can go without the rope. It was obvious he's, uh, he's able to move his own. There was also a guy in the Torino hut, Ulrich, who knows the route very well. He also wanted to go into the Rochefort Traverse, and I was like, perfect. So we have, we have a guy who knows the way in the dark. So we left the three of us early in the morning towards the Rochefort Arret. Uh, I went to the Dans des Chiens, and they keep going towards the Rochefort Arret. And I saw the guys from Summit Dans des Chiens, but when I arrived at the Arret, Martin was gone. I don't even really know what happened. I mean, he slept or whatever, and that's it. So that was the sad story. But for me, it was completely no question. I immediately stopped the project. I went back home just to find his parents and make things the right way, the correct way.